Okay, so thank you for buying your pillows from Hammer and Saint Holland. If you guys got your pillows with the stuffing already in it, we ask you to remove the stuffing inside the pillow. You can lay it flat again. If it's wrinkly, you can grab an iron or throw it in the dryer. It'll, it'll get the wrinkles out. An iron works pretty good too, you know, low heat. So what we do is we take our stencil and we're gonna flip the stencil over to the grid side. And we're gonna take, we have squeegees here at the studio, but you can use a credit card or um, anything that's hard enough cardboard if it's really strong, thick cardboard. And you're gonna squeegee back and forth on the back of your stencil. Just to get it flat, it's not gonna stick to the pillow yet. It's just gonna make it stick better to this transfer tape we have on the other side. And you just squeegee back and forth two or three times. You may hear some bubbles coming out, which is good. Once you have that done, you're gonna take this wax grid paper. You're gonna separate it from the sticky blue and you wanna make sure all your blue stays on the blue side. And if any blue comes up, you crease your back your paper and pull it just very slowly. See how it's coming up there? We'll just crease it down a little bit. Because a lot of other stencils I noticed, they have a lot of small pieces so that may happen to you. And what you do is you're gonna push your stencil over to the side and you wanna stick this wax paper inside the uh, pillow. It may be a little big, but we can cut it down. Grab scissors. Make sure you have scissors with you. Iron if need be, or whatever. Cut it. And we're just gonna stuff it inside the pillowcase, just so that when you paint your stencil, it doesn't bleed through to the back side of your pillow. You're gonna take your stencil and you'll flip it over and this should be about the size of your pillow this blue square should be about the size of your pillow give or take a few inches and then you're gonna flatten it out from the center you're gonna push out from the center with your hands like this the, uh, the rays of the Sun you want to push it out push keep pushing it down it's not gonna stick really good to your to your pillow but you want it to stick enough so that it stays in place and you're able to paint once you have that down now you're going to see why we have all these transfer tape and little pieces on here it's just to help peel it off easier because of a lot of small pieces that are on there and you're just going to roll it off and you push down any blue that comes up you don't want to pull up this transfer tape it'll pull the blue and might rip it so you're just going to roll it off gently Push down any blue that comes up, like that little bugger will come up. Start with pieces that are on top, probably be easier for you guys. Make more sense, right? Okay, you're just gonna go back, you're gonna push everything down as much as it will stay. And then you're going to take your paints, you're going to take your, your makeup sponges. And if the, here's a tip, if there is a, hold on. If there's really small areas on your stencil, you can always cut them in half. Some of you may already have these cut in half in your kit. So some of you may have these pieces of paper. That's the wax paper that you would that you initially put in your pillow. I gave you extra pieces because when you start painting, you're gonna wanna take all that excess off of the sponge. So you're gonna dip the square in the sponge into the paint, but you wanna take all that excess off by lightly stamping it around on your paper to get a light stamp. You can even stamp it on the blue if you want. And then that's when you'll start painting. You're gonna do light up and down dabs light coats you don't want to flood the stencil with paint because it will bleed under and because the stencil isn't fully flat on your pillow you need light light coats just like this it will eventually become a solid coat it's just going to take a few 
few courses of it. So you dab, 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 and then you can go on to the next color as that's drying. I chose yellow. And so I'm gonna use the small sponge because I'm gonna get a little bit of flowers that are yellow on my stencil, stamp it off up here in the, in the extra space of blue. I'll make these yellow. Dab, dab, dab. You don't wanna swipe, swipe will push that paint under that stencil and you'll get mixed colors, you'll get blurry lines. You just want a light dab straight up and down. Now for kids, I also gave some clothespins for kids because sometimes it's easier for kids to use the clothespins on the, on the um, makeup sponges just for their little hands. It's easier to control it. So again, they can take, dip it in with the makeup sponge, stamp it around, and then use, they can start dabbing like this. It's just easier control for them. For ages, I'd say maybe seven and younger. It's up to you. They can even do it older. I'm doing it now, you know, and it works pretty good. Adults can do it too. So I give everybody a clothes pen. Go back, stamp it, get some more, but always let there be light coats. Stamp up and down. You can even swipe the edges. Now, if you guys have a toothpicks at home, it's easy tool to use to uh, pick up centers of these. Then you're just gonna peel your stencil back. It's okay if it rips as it goes, it's fine, it's just gonna be thrown in the trash. Now this toothpick will be to get the centers out. You wanna make sure your paint is totally dry before you pull your stencil. Mine's still a little wet, but but you just want to make sure because if you get paint on the outside, it will not come off. Now 
Once again, baby wipes will get the paint off of your hands. Soap and water does too. And then you'll take the insert out. pillow. Oh, little piece. I also forgot to mention that you can spot clean these and then that's it. Like you can put them in the washer, but you have to put them inside out. And I just realized that that's a bird up there in my design and I didn't paint him a different color and I guess he has a little flat but other than that came out pretty good